Hi guys, Exaltech here. The screen which you see right now is the most irritating screen for each and every internet user in the world. But when we click spacebar while the screen is active, this becomes one of the most interesting screens in the world, right? So this is the famous Chrome Dino game that comes pre-built with the Google Chrome browser itself. So this game was designed to be a pastime for users whose internet connection is down or who is offline. We can also access this game when we are online by using the Chrome Dino URL which you can see on your screen right now. So this game consists of a T-Rex runner who is blocked by obstacles including the cacti and the teriodactyls that appear randomly over the screen which the T-Rex have to dodge over to continue the game. So in order to make this dino immortal in order to avoid this game over dialogue from appearing in the screen just right click over the screen anywhere and find the inspect option that appears in the menu and now click that option or else just press ctrl shift and i at the same time to access the chrome developer options so here in the menu you can find many stuff including the inspect element the console source editing and similar other networking developer based tools so in the menu just click the console tab in the second column so here in the console tab, you may need to type out a few JavaScript codings to make the dino immortal. So before speaking about those codings, I just want to mention about this function runner.prototype.gameover, which manages the vibration that appears when the game is over and restarting and updating the high score and similar other stuff. So we can make the T-Rex dino immortal by replacing the original definition of this function by an empty function. So before doing that, it is recommended to have a recovery such that we can store the instructions of this function to a static variable. So let me declare a variable where space. So let the name of the variable be original. So it can be any valid JavaScript identifier. And now just assign the function to it to copy the instructions of the function to that dummy variable. So now in the second line, just assign an empty block function to that runner.prototype.gameOver function just to replace the original definition of the function with an empty function block so that there are no instructions inside the game over function such that your dino will become immortal just after executing this line and now press enter to execute the command and this time when the dino runs it won't get disturbed by any obstacles and it will be certainly immortal becoming an infinite runner so that you need not dodge over the teriodactyls and the cacti that appears on the screen so it will be just running through those obstacles leading to an infinite game so that you can get as high score as you can if you wish to return to the default gameplay mode then just use that static variable in which we have stored the original definition of the game over function by assigning it to the function or else just refresh this tab to return to the default gameplay mode such that all the console commands will be deleted. So now in order to increase or decrease the speed of the dino, there is another JavaScript code which is runner.instance underscore dot set speed and within the parenthesis just include a valid number so that when I give a positive number say 100 the speed of the dino will be increased multiple times such that it runs like a cheetah. So you can give any valid integer inside that parenthesis to adjust the speed of the dino. If you give a positive number the dino will be moving forward or when you give a negative number the game will be going all in the reverse direction. So now let me give a small integer, say one inside the parenthesis and see what happens to the speed of the dino. So the dino which ran like a cheetah previously now runs like a turtle. So you can give any valid number to adjust the speed such that you can change the difficulty of the gameplay too. Actually, my intention of making this video is not about the Chrome Dino game because I'm not a great fan of games. I just wanted to mention about the practical application of JavaScript language behind such a simple game. So hope you like this video. A sub to the channel would be amazing. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, stay tuned.